through selling today, especially for silver prices, which actually saw nearly half a percent of a decline coming in. It has to do with what the U.S. dollar is doing. It still is a risk on mood that you have seen prevailing. The markets have done well. So there isn't too much of a buying coming in for precious metals. In any case, there are record long positions being held onto them by on ETFs and by funds as well. So we are relatively pretty much on the higher side when money counts. But the crude oil prices as well have been quite volatile. We saw nearly a percentage point of decline yesterday. It has been quite volatile today as well. Markets are awaiting the inventory numbers today, tomorrow, and that is what would give you further direction coming in for those prices. Having said that, the inventories in U.S., China, Japan and Europe have been on the higher side. The supply glut situation is something that continues to worry this market. So on your screens, nearly quarter percent down for both the varieties. But Thomas Park, commodities economist at Capital economics now joins us on a phone line thomas hi good to have you what sense now on the crude oil prices because we really have made a new range on the lower side now do you see the prices trading within this or do you see further lows right. um, i think we see further lows in